Okay, you go first. Okay, hold on. Don't push me, please. It's um, sun fla um, flare here, so it's hard to see. Misha, so what do we do about the antenna? Is it supposed to be this way, the array, or is it, or, or did they break it? It looks like it's been broken. That's what Sergei was saying, Sergei Tamborov, that it's very easy to break. Yes, it's a pretty fragile. Okay, understand. I'm glad that you were able to show us directly with your cameras what it looks like because we didn't have to waste our time and energy trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, yes, I'm glad that I was of assistance. So I'm going to move to the operator location then. Yes, you have a go. Sasha, we continue not receiving your picture from your camera. Yes, I tried to cycle it, and it, the indicator is not on either. This is Mission Control Houston. As you can see from this uh, viewpoint of Sergei Volkov, that is the uh, Arisat Radio Scoff educational satellite that we've been talking about since the beginning. Uh, today's activities, the crew is getting ready to attempt another deploy of this. And they are uh, still discussing this second antenna uh, that is in question. They're not exactly sure if it is uh, tucked away down inside the satellite, uh, in which case they could uh, possibly uh, remove it and get it deployed correctly before they toss the satellite off the uh, back end of the station, or it could possibly be uh, actually broken off. In either case, they are going to try to deploy uh, this satellite. As a reminder of what this is, it is an educational prototype of uh, future satellite models that can carry up to four different student experiments on board. Uh, this particular one, since it's a prototype, just has one experiment on board, which is an atmospheric pressure experiment that was built by Kursk University uh, there in Russia. So we will stand by uh, to monitor the crew's progress while they get this task uh, taken care of. This should have been the first thing uh, that they did, but whenever the crew and the ground teams noticed that only one antenna was present, uh, they held off. No. The satellite will be deployed off the back end of the station. There's about a 30-degree cone that it will stay in as it uh, drifts away. This is the time that you have to gen jettison. So now I'm not saying that you need to get crazy here, but uh, you need to work quickly. Can I jettison it from here? No, we're not going to jettison it from any location other than the one that was predetermined earlier. Okay, understood. We are not getting video at this time, therefore, everything that you do, you need to voice down to us so that we are aware of what exactly you're doing. Okay, copy. We're now three hours and 50 minutes into today's spacewalk. The uh, crew is still working with this Arisat or uh, Radioscoff educational satellite. It's going to be deployed right there from the Pierce docking compartment where the crew currently is. There's a 30-degree cone. They will keep that satellite in as they uh, allow it to float away off the back end of the station. 
There is still ongoing discussions about the status of the second antenna. The leading theory now is that it has been broken off uh, due to what the crew is seeing and reporting down to the ground teams. There was a thought that maybe it was just uh, sort of coiled up and tucked inside the satellite itself or caught somewhere, uh, but it does indeed look like it is uh, missing or damaged. I am moving to the central post, to, to the operator location. Okay, Sergey. Here's your next, piece, uh, next information. If you do not manage to jettison the item before clip, stop and rest. We will wait. No, don't worry, Misha. We will jettison before the clip. Okay. I just wanted to let you know that you have less than three minutes. The uh, International Space Station is uh, quickly approaching sunset. They want the crew to get the satellite deployed before the sun uh, goes down so that they have adequate lighting to watch it drift away and monitor its progress. So the deploy should take place within the next two minutes. Can you not see it? Okay, hold this here. Okay, I'm holding. Don't, don't let it go. Don't you let it go. Hold on tight. Now let go. I, I have let go. Please do not. Official uh, jettison time for this airy sad radio scoff is 1.42 p.m. Central Time. The indicators, the LEDs are blinking. It would be a very good time for me to let go of this item right now. I would be very happy to let go. Now, keep talking to us and tell us when you jettison it. I'm throwing. Yes, it's moving beautifully. Very nice. We copy. Now, the camera that you have, make sure that you... The crew is uh, continuing to watch the... Um, Airy sat radio scoff as it drifts away from the International Space Station. So our corrected time, based on what the crew just said a second ago, is that uh, the satellite was deployed at 1.43 p.m. Central Time, 2.43 p.m. Eastern Time. So once again, the Airy sat radio scoff satellite has been deployed by the crew. It is uh, drifting off the back end of the International Space Station. They uh, did get it done before the sun set on the International Space Station, which was important because of lighting conditions. They need to uh, have enough light to watch it uh, drift away, make sure it uh, clears all of the structure on the Russian segment. So once again, a corrected time, 1.43 p.m. Central Time. The uh, Airy Sat radio scoff is now on its way. So what do we do next? Here's what you do. Based on the situation that we have right now, we're removing some of the tasks. So you don't need the restraint. Here are the tasks that you do need to do. You need to go to the uh, OVK and uh, remove it. But then stand by for our further recommendations. Okay, cut. What, what would be the best way for us to translate there? Well, we need to, to need, we need the ratchet wrench. Yes, I have it. Do you have the orange tether or did you remove it? No, I removed it. Okay, I have to. You haven't taken them off yet. Okay, good. So I have to. I'll give you one.